Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo. Today is May 13th and Google just pushed off its latest update of the beta program for Android 13. So this one is Android 13 beta version number two. If you wanted to see everything that was brand new in the original Android 13 beta one update, and if you also wanted to learn how you can sign up for it, I'll place the original video below this one inside the description so you can take a look at that. Now, if you wanted to see where this update is, maybe you have the original beta version, but you didn't see that there was an update all you want to do is head inside of your settings you're going to scroll down to where it says system and then underneath system this is where we go to system update it'll find it there you want to download this get it installed you do want to be connected to wi-fi so once you are connected to wi-fi you'll have a more stable connection plus it also allows you to stay in that one spot without you having to drive around going from tower to tower possibly losing signal so now that you have this thing all connected into the internet now let's head over let's make sure this thing is downloading so again you want to go inside of your system system update download and install now there is a few changes that i know is coming with this update dealing with some of its animations so we will be taking a look at what those animations look like i also do want to see if there's an update when it comes down to the face unlock because with the original first update of the beta one there was the face unlock that you can search even though it took you pretty much nowhere that was a hint that face unlock could be coming so we will take a look to see if that is still sitting there and also take a look inside of the application tray to see if that search bar on the top is the pixel search or if it's the google search bar widget that's basically on, on pretty much all of the android home screens now if you do not want to watch the very first video where i showed off everything in detail that was brand new at the end of this taking a look at a few things that's new with beta 2 we will go through i'll do a high level overview of everything that is brand new that came with beta 1 of android 13 so you can stay tuned to that if you you don't want to take a look at the more in-depth video now at this point in the video if you guys are brand new here at the channel jimmy is promo you appreciate tips tricks and tutorials on your android device make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. So the update is done and complete. And I do want to mention that if you are doing this update, please allow for quite a bit of time for the download, install, and optimizing to be complete. This one took a little bit over an hour and 20 minutes. Don't know why it took so long for only 400 megabytes. Uh, Samsung devices are actually quite a bit quicker, uh, but I want to let you guys know that. Also, here is the beta release dates or the months, and then also when the final release will come out. So you can see here, we've already done beta beta one in April. Here is beta two right now for May. We'll have beta three and four here in June and July. Then final release will be in August. So if you're curious on the full release date of not only just all of the Android devices uh, to get out of beta, as well as other Android devices for Android 13, you will be looking at a August date. One of the biggest features of Android 12 was Material U. It's a way that you can style your device based on your wallpaper. Now here in Android 13, you have more options. So again, going back to Android 12 for wallpaper colors, you had four different palettes you can choose from. And then when it came down to the basic colors, you also have four as well. But here in Android 13, you actually have different pages. So you have much more options when it comes down to these colors. So here in basic colors, you have four different tabs, which means you now have 16 colors instead of just four. And then here we are with the wallpaper colors. With this beta two, they added a additional page. So instead of 16 different palettes you can choose from the wallpaper colors, you now have five pages, which gives you 20 options. Now, again, with Android 12, there was only four. With beta one, of Android 13, there was 16 pages. Now with beta two, you have that additional page, uh, which will give you a total of 20 colors. So let's just take a look at a few animations. And so right now, if you wanted to swipe home from a application or whatever you're using, you see it went right over here inside of files. Let's say that we wanted to go inside of YouTube. Uh, well, let's head back over into the home screen. You can see it switches right over there. Uh, you can kind of see if it is more smooth or not smooth versus your Android 12 that you have right now. Now let's take a look at the lock screen. So when you go from the lock 
lock screen and you unlock the device, you'll see that it kind of just comes in and fills out. So it kind of feels like it's coming from the middle, which is why I put an application towards the middle. So again, you can see it coming in when originally it kind of looked like it was coming up from the bottom, maybe from this application area that I have down here. Uh, but now in terms of the animations going from the locked to unlocked, it kind of feels like it's being pushed out from the middle. Now, another thing is that if you're using uh, your fingerprint reader on the bottom, you may notice a slight difference when it comes down to that pulse or that little animation. It kind of seems like it's a little bit more fluid. It could almost be a little bit more aggressive. Uh, I think it's just a little bit quicker as well versus beta one. And that's just my personal usage and, and figuring it out right here between unlocking the device. And then the last animation I want to take a look at is when you go through pages or menus. And so when you go through the menus, you can see that it's kind of doing more of a swiping effect. So it went kind of like a swipe right there. Same thing here. It's going to swipe over to the other side. Now, when you go backwards, it's going the other way. So you can see it's more of a swipe of a page than it is the original in Android 12, which kind of seems like it's just fading in, fading out. It literally just replaces the screen is what Android 12 did. So instead of it just coming in from the background, it is now swiping itself going back or swiping itself going forward to the next page. Now, the two things I wanted to take a look at after this update was done was one that I didn't read anywhere, uh, but I'm curious if there was any changes in terms of the application tray. So originally this used to be a pixel search, so it would search anything on the phone, but now it's just still in terms of this beta version, the Google search bar widget. It's the exact same thing on your home screen. So I don't know why they did that. I feel like hopefully they can go back to the pixel search. If I wanted to use a Google search, I would actually just use this one sitting right there. Um, you can still search for things on your phone. It's just not the primary things that come up right away. You'll actually see Google searches first and then things that's on your device. Now let's take a look at face unlock. So originally when I was searching for face unlock because every Android phone should have this uh, and I don't know why this pixel device does not. So if you search for face unlock on beta one, it actually said the word face unlock. It gave you the ability to search it even though when you clicked it, it took you to a different screen. So now that we are looking right here, let's see here, enable face detection. Uh, bold text. So I'm not really seeing the face unlock. So that original one that was there in the first video I shot face unlock is now gone. So they must have taken it away. They must be working on it before they actually really release it. Uh, but right back here in security, you can see fingerprint unlock and screen unlock for the security, but the face unlock menu is now been taken away. Now you might be wondering what this one is here, the enable face detection. Really all it does is it improves the accuracy of the auto rotate. So it's, it's not storing any of your images, nothing being sent back to Google. But if you do want to turn this one on, I feel like maybe if you're someone that lays down on the couch, it might notice your face is still upright or it's facing the same way. So it doesn't have to rotate the screen when you're laying down. I've never really tested that just yet um, because the auto rotate usually does a pretty good job, but that's really the only thing that kind of pops up when it comes down to the face unlock. So a really fast high overview of a few things that was brand new with Android 13, which was in the original video. One of those is the squiggly line, you know, going through the progress of the music you're listening to. So normally it just looks like this. You have a straight line of what you've already listened to and what you still have left to go through. But when it comes down to your lock screen and the widget on the top, it actually has a squiggly line that is moving, letting you know what you have already progressed through with a different animation, which I think is pretty cool versus just having a regular straight line. Another change that you would notice when it came down to Android 13 was when you opened up this quick settings area with the two pull downs, what you'll notice is that now some of these icons are moved to the very bottom right hand side. Originally, these ones right here were in the very middle. So you will notice a couple different small changes when it comes down to that, that menu screen right here with the quick settings along with getting into the settings and power menu. And then the last thing I wanted to show with this quick little fast overview of Android 13 over Android 12 is that if your phone was on silent mode, now you had no options when it came down into the haptics and vibrations, things like that, because if your phone is on silent, it took away all of that with pretty much everything. Now, if you have Android 12, you are not able to go into this menu right here, which is vibration and haptics. But here we are, Android 13, vibration and haptics. You can go down, you can either have it on or off. This is where you can change the intensity of the volume vibration, touch feedback, and media vibration as well.
So that's everything I wanted to cover for today's fast high overview of what was new on Android 13. If you wanted to see the full detailed video, I'll place that below the video inside of the description. And this was pretty much everything I wanted to cover for this update here for beta two. So really the biggest changes will be the animations. You also have a additional a uh, page of four additional colors for Material U. Uh, and that's pretty much about it with this update. Uh, your animations and the additional colors for Material U. So hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.